Hello there. Fro here again with another weekly football picks video. Uh, recapping week four and making the picks for week five. For the third straight week, I went 10 6. So, or, wait, there's a bye week. There's bye game this week. All right. So, 10 5 this week. Okay. For third straight week, we got 10 right. But, uh, getting right into it, let's just recap week four. Thursday night game, uh, Philadelphia went to Green Bay. Stupid fucking phone. I picked Green Bay to win, and Philadelphia won 34-27. I'm 0-4 for 4 in Thursday night game, so for this week, I'm just going to pick the team I think is going to lose, because I can't seem to uh, get it right anyway. Uh, Philly looked good. They, they uh, Big win for them. Bounced back from a uh, week before that. And Green Bay's first loss this season. And Green Bay's defense just didn't show up for the first time this year. Tennessee, Atlanta. I picked Atlanta to win. Tennessee won 24-10. Tennessee, yeah, played well. And Atlanta, it's just it's another shitty year for Atlanta, it looks like, at this point. I'm done giving them the benefit of the doubt at this point. New England, Buffalo. I picked New England to win. They won 16-10. Brady looked like absolute dog shit. But, of course, the Patriots defense was phenomenal and special teams and carried them to a victory. And Josh Allen got cheap shot out of the game. So, Barkley came in and was... Just as mediocre as Josh Allen was, it's it's whatever. It must be nice to complete less than half your passes and have like 160 yards, no touchdowns, and a pick, and still win. Yeah, must be nice. Anywho, Kansas City at Detroit, but Kansas City to win. They won 34-30. Kudos to Detroit, man. Detroit, I think it's gonna be a pretty solid team this year, and they played well. And they had this game until uh, Mahomes and the Chiefs went on a drive late to take the lead and win the game. Say the Colts game for the end. Chargers at Miami. Big Chargers to win. They won 30 10. But hey, congrats to Miami. You got your first lead of the season for a very brief moment. Oh, what a dumpster fire. Redskins at the Giants. Pick Giants to win. And Danny Dimes won 24 3. Danny Dimes was not nearly as sharp as he was in the first week or his first game. But Washington's terrible. They're, 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 they're bottom three in the league. Easily. Miami's the worst team, but Washington's right there. Cleveland at Baltimore. Pick Baltimore to win, and Cleveland wins this one in an upset. 40-25. Uh, I don't understand the Browns, man. They look they look like they're going to have another shitty season, and then all of a sudden they play really well at Baltimore. A good what was it, a good defense going into this week. And uh, Mayfield looked you know, decent for the first time this year. Maybe they'll turn the season around, but who knows? Carolina at Houston. I picked uh, Carolina to win. They won 16 10. Houston, you have a problem. I just such an overrated team. Everybody's picked in the easily win division. Now the AFC South is all knotted up at two and two. I just don't see it. I just don't. I just think they're an extremely overrated team, and the offensive line is still awful. But one, one training away your future for one left tackle is not going to fix your entirely bad offensive line. That's something you do when you only need a left tackle. But hey, Bill O'Brien's really good, right? Tampa Bay, Los Angeles. I picked uh, the Rams. I picked the Rams to win, and they've lost forty to fifty-five. Good Jameis showed up once again, and credit to Tampa Bay—they got a big win. But man, Rams defense really shit the bed in this one. It's it's a strange fucking year already. It just ugh. Seattle and Arizona, I picked Seattle to win. They won 27-10 pretty easily. Congrats on Fitzgerald becoming the second in all-time uh, receptions. Class act, and he's going, he's going to go out with one of his worst teams of his career, unfortunately, and if he hasn't played in another year. What a shame. But Seattle won. Seattle's had a very weak schedule so far, so I don't think they're nearly as good as their record will say. But we'll see. Minnesota and Chicago, I picked Chicago to win, and they won 16-6. Kirk Cousins, man, that was a really good deal. That eighty-four million fully guaranteed. He's he's really he's really paying out for you guys. Ooh, boy. Minnesota defense played well enough to win this game, but their offense was absolutely non-existent. Chicago's defense absolutely shredded them. I don't know what to say other than Kirk Cousins better turn around soon because he looks absolutely awful. Their offense has been getting carried by Dalvin Cook so far. Especially when you have two good, really good receivers and you still can't do anything. I mean, I know Bears defense is legit, but come on. That, that, that was awful. That was an awful game offensively. 
Jacksonville, Denver. I picked Jacksonville to win. They won 26-24. Minshew Magic, baby. Oh, man. Foles finally got another team for him to start for again. And then he breaks the call and he's probably never going to start again for them. Unless Minshew gets hurt. Credit, credit to them, though. They look good. And Fournette had his best game of his career this game. He finally looked like a first-round draft pick this past week. So we'll see if they can keep that up. But uh, big one for them. Dallas at New Orleans. I picked New Orleans to win. They won 12-10. Man, what what happens when you finally play a good team that has a legitimate defense? Hmm. Oh, that's right. You lose. Yeah. Let's uh, pump the brakes on Dak Prescott's elite now and the Cowboys who won the Super Bowl and all that. They finally played a good team and lost. We'll see if they can bounce back when they play another good team and actually win one. And then Monday night, uh, Snooze Fest with the Bengals at Pittsburgh. I picked Pittsburgh to win. They won 27-3. Not much to say other than the Bengals are terrible. They lost John Ross, and now they're down to Tyler Boyd and a bunch of scrubs. Offensive line is one of the worst in the league. They just look absolutely dreadful. Oh, oh we're having the Colts game. Oakland and Indy picked Colts to win, and they lost 31-24. This Colts were coming back, and then... Percent made his only really bad throw of the game and had a pick six and had to put the game out of reach for us. We still had a chance. You know, we had all three timeouts to kick the ball off and want our defense to do something, and they couldn't. There's just so many goddamn injuries. Let's see. Let's see. Mac got hurt, so he didn't play the second half. So our starting running back was out. The second half, T.Y. Hilton was out the entire game. He didn't play at all. Our, our, our by far number one receiver. Uh, Leonard and Hooker didn't play. Our two best uh, defensive players. Desir didn't play. Our number one corner. Uh... Campbell got hurt, a rookie receiver, so down the stretch, it was Pascal and uh, Chester Rogers as our go-to receivers. Yeah. Uh, who else got hurt? Uh, someone, someone, uh, Al Queen Muhammad got hurt on a D-line. Uh, there's so many rookies playing, which is good. it's going to be good in the long run. Rookies getting these times. Kari Car Willis looks like a legitimate, really good safety. But, oh, and Gethers, after this game, has a concussion. He probably won't play this week. So we're going to be without both our safeties next week, most likely. Hooker is definitely out. He's still out for another four to five weeks, at least. So many injuries. But, you know, we fought. We're still we're in, the, in the game at the end. Had a chance. Credit to Oakland. They played well. We just, I took advantage of our defense that was just, not, couldn't do anything. Couldn't get any pressure. Couldn't cover anyone. Oh, it was rough. But, uh, Brissett's not the problem. Brissett, once again, you know, three touchdowns and one, one pick, which, yes, was a really back-breaking interception, but he, the, the team had, like, seven drops a game, three of which were Ebron himself. And all of them were drive killers. All of them were first-down plays, and the people, people just kept dropping them. It was, oh, man, this team needs T.Y. back. You can't rely on young, unexperienced receivers that carry your team. They, they, it, 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 Hilton doesn't come back soon, it's going to be bad. And upcoming this week is a game that I'm not very hopeful at all, but if we could win this game this week, it will be awesome, but I'm not looking to that happen. But, yeah, we're 10-5, so let's go on to week five. So Seattle at home, taking on the Rams. All right, I haven't got a Thursday night game right yet, so which team do I think is going to lose? I think the Rams would win this game, so I'm picking Seattle to win at home. Do a reverse logic, see if I can finally get a Thursday night right, uh, game right. Arizona at Cincy. Wow. What an awful game of two awful teams. Uh, there should be some points in this game because both uh, pass defenses are non-existent. I think Murray gets a win on the road. I don't feel good about that pick, though. Buffalo, Tennessee. Now, this is going to be a good game. I think Josh Allen should be playing. Tennis, these are two really good defenses, so this would be a good, grinded-out game. <sighs> Excuse me. I don't know. Buffalo's defense was legendary last week. It just had no offense to go with it. I don't know. I think Titans win this game, though. I, I can see... I, I, this one's like a pick em game. Like, like, you can see over here, it's pretty much... And even split 54-46. I'm for Tennessee to win that game. Chicago and Oakland. I think Chicago's defense is going to do a lot better than, obviously, the Colts' non-existent defense this past week. So, I think Oakland loses this game. Oakland, you know, still a good start, 2-2. Two two. Can't complain. But I think, I think Chicago's going to start getting rolling here. 
even with Chase Daniel playing, which might actually be a better option at this point, one of the better backups in the league. Uh, yeah. Tampa Bay at New Orleans. Tampa Bay is hot right now, but at New Orleans, even with Bridgewater starting, I think Saints finally win this game. It might should be a good one though. See what if good or bad Jameis shows up. <sighs> Minnesota at the Giants. I think Minnesota bounces back this week and gets a win. I don't know if it has much to do with Kirk Cousins doing well, but I think they can run on them and their defense play well enough to win this game. Jets at Philly. I mean, it doesn't matter if Mono Boy or fucking Luke Falk plays. I'm picking the Eagles win this game. Jets are in disarray, to put it, nice, to put it lightly. Baltimore at Pittsburgh. Baltimore bounces back and wins this game. Mason Rudolph still hasn't impressed me. I mean, anybody can do what he did this past week. Absolute check down, Charlie. Juju is a non-existent player now because all they do is check it down to the running back uh, 95% of the time. Baltimore win wins this game, bounces back. Even at Pittsburgh, yeah. New England, Washington. Wow. That, that's, that Patriots schedule is just fucking rough. I, don't, I just don't know how they do it. Yeah, New England's going to win. Who cares? Woo, Jacksonville, Carolina. This is a sneaky good matchup this week. 63% are picking Carolina at home. I feel... Oh, man. I want the Jaguars lose because they're the Colts division. I think they went on the road here. I, this should be a really good game. Both have good defenses. Uh, CMC is carrying that offense right now. I think Jacksonville, I think Minshew finds a way to get it done on the road. Falcons at the Texans. Oh, boy. Two underperforming teams. Houston at home, though. Yeah, I think Houston wins this game because they're at home. I, I'm not, I don't feel good about that pick, though. Both teams are underwhelming. Denver at the Chargers. Denver, you're own five now. Even though Chargers play 16 home games or 16 road games a year because they have no fans, I think Chargers finally win, win that game at home. Green Bay at Dallas. Oh, Dallas, you have another good team playing against you. All right, Green Bay's a good one. Even without Devontae Adams, most likely, I think Green Bay finally won to win that game. All right, Cleveland at San Francisco. San Francisco, one of the last three unbeaten, and I think they keep that up at home. On Monday night, I think they have a good, good, decent young team. I think they finally want to win that game. And then with the Colts game, which is a Sunday nighter, Indy going to Arrowhead to play the Chiefs. With all of our injuries, our defense not stopping anybody, and all the defensive starters are going to be out. This one's going to be ugly. I would love for the Colts to win this game, and I'm still well, obviously rooting for them to win, but I just don't see it. <clears throat> I just don't see it happening. I think Kansas City just absolutely blows the doors off of us, and we might make a rally late to make a closer game, but I just don't see... I don't think we can keep up with their offense. Mahomes is, a, is unstoppable. Even this past week, when he didn't have any touchdowns, they still scored 30, what, 33 points. It's it's ridiculous. Yeah. Hope for the best, but I do expect the worst. Predict the scores for Cleveland and San Francisco. So I have San Francisco winning. I think this could be like a 21-17 -7, game. Indianapolis to Kansas City. I think Indy could put up like 28 points this game, but I just I think Kansas City is going to win this game pretty easily, and they're going to have like 45. I just don't think. I I hope it's a lot closer than that. I hope the Colts can win, but their, their offense is going to have their way with our defense. It just it would take an absolute phenomenal game plan and effort from our defense to to hold them in check. Who will score most points this week? New England has Washington. I think the Chiefs have a good chance of doing it, but I'm going to pick New England against Washington. Fewest points this week. Who did Miami play this week? Miami wasn't the lowest score this past week, but they were close. They were like tied for third. Did, oh, I think they have a bye week this week. Huh. Or I'm just blind. Lowest scoring. Huh. I don't know. I think it could be, uh, let's say Pittsburgh. Against Baltimore defense bouncing back. Let's say Pittsburgh. Save those picks. And that's it for this week. Uh, thanks again for everybody tuning in. Uh, it means the world to me. Uh, and uh, here's hoping the Colts can do something against the Chiefs. But <laughs> regardless, let's watch some good football this weekend. And uh, 
uh, like I said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace out. Talk to Patriots. Yada, yada. That's all I got. Later.